questions regarding your question why I'm interested in neurobiology. <laughs> in, I started out from the psychoanalytic theory of uh, the dual drive system of Freud, libido and aggression, inborn aggression as an important etiological feature. I was not aware of the importance of um, um, early object relations in generating aggressive response, um, severe traumatization in early infancy and childhood, uh, insecure attachment. I gradually became impressed by the correspondent literature. By the same token, it raised the question to what extent can we explain that sometimes you have severe personality disorder with, from all we can tell, very good early history and other cases with a very bad early history turn out to be perfectly normal. So it raises again the question to what extent is there a constitutional disposition that we are neglecting, which drew my attention to the study of temperament uh, in, and from the study of temperament, the study of affect and contemporary affect theory. And the contemporary affect theory has advanced enormously uh, both from the psychological side and from the neurobiological side. And it started raising the question to what extent there are neurobiological dispositions to an excessive development of negative affect that foster the development of the aggressive segment of intrapsychic experience. And from there, the interest in the study of, um, on the one hand, the research on um, neural means as the major uh, neurotransmitters determining affect, uh, the serotonergic system, dopaminergic, noradrenergic system, particularly serotonergic system, that has a protective function against activation of negative affect and the limbic structures connected with affect activation. And from there, the study of the amygdala as the main um, limbic center uh, linked to the activation of negative affect. And uh, our major research to study the relationship between um, amygdala activation and uh, prefrontal and preorbital cortex control function of the activation of affect. And this opened up the awareness that there are various areas in the brain that may predispose disposition to hyperactivity, for example, um, the hyperactivity of the amygdala to negative uh, stimuli and inhibitions of um, control functions, the primary inhibition of the preorbital and, pre and prefrontal cortex in decreasing the top-down contextualization, cognitive contextualization and control over affects. So um, uh, it uh, seems clear that there's an interaction between temperamental disposition, affect activation, early object relations, the influence of secure or insecure attachment, and perhaps of other systems of, um, um, of self-object interaction that have not as well been studied as yet in explaining the development both of the resilience to stress and trauma, as well as hyperreactivity to trauma in, as an etiological factor, and, um, uh, and moving in more general terms to, toward an integration of our developing knowledge of neurobiological structures on the one hand and uh, psychodynamic on the other, uh, in an effort to work toward closing the gap without premature closure, no, pr premature fantasies of explaining the id uh, with uh, 
a seeking system of the brain <laughs> to avoid those premature relations, but to try to narrow the gap and increase our understanding of the interaction between disposition and external reality. So it, it has been a, a natural development in my research interest and in my theoretical thinking, uh, leading me to the proposal that Freud's dual drive theory uh, needs modification in the sense that I consider affects as the primary motivational systems and the organization of positive and negative affects leading to the hierarchically supraordinate development of libido and aggression as hierarchically supraordinate motivational systems but not the genetically primary one that Freud had proposed. Affects are at that boundary, not the mysterious nature of the drive as Freud the described. So both my theoretical interest in object relation theory and, and research interests in the development of personality disorders went into that direction. That's the answer. Th thank you very much. Thank you.